If you are writing a lot of JavaScript and you are not using the Karma test runner, you are missing out. Now you can use Karma with Dart. And in this screencast I will show how to do that. Karma requires Node to be installed. There are many ways to do that. For instance, on a Mac you can do it using Homebrew, like this. Next, installing Karma itself. I am doing it globally here, but there are other options available. Finally, installing the Karma Dart plugin. I have a small project prepared. As you can see, I am importing the unit test package over here, and also there are a few very simple tests I am going to run. Alright, there are a few things I need to do to set up Karma for this project. By the way, all these steps are outlined on the karma.dart github page. Firstly, I need to add these dependencies to pubspec.yaml of my project. Now let's install them. Done. Ok, Karma needs a configuration file to run. And we can create one by copying this stuff from the GitHub page. We all set up. Now we can start Karma. Now I need to copy and paste this URL into Dartium. And we are good to go. Karma detects file changes. So if we mess something up, the test will fail. The last part of this screencast is about using Karma in WebStorm. The first thing is to create a run configuration. To do that, right click on the configuration file and then click on create Karma Conf.js. It's all good here. Now you can run test via Karma. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.